Hello, I am Megan Argetsinger. And I'm Nika Osteen. We are both project managers for North Sound ACH and have been working with the Center for Community Health Evaluation to conduct this network analysis. We will be presenting a brief overview of takeaways from the analysis. So why did we choose to perform a network analysis? As you know, part of our goal as an ACH is to increase cross-sector collaboration in the region. A network analysis allows us to understand the emerging patterns of collaboration in our region. We can also use the data collected to dig deeper into collaboration and look within and across sectors. And we can look at different types of collaboration, such as data sharing and referrals. The image to the right is the final North Sound regional network map. This map visualized, visualizes what we learned about the connections in our region from the network analysis. Here, each colored circle represents a separate organization. The color represents the organization sector and the size of the circle represents how connected the organization is within the network. Organizations with many connections are larger and closer to the center of the circle. Those with fewer connections are smaller and located on the outside. The lines connecting two circles represent a connection. Included in the survey were our 49 contracted partners as well as 50 community partners. The survey asked each organization to provide some information about their sector, location, and other characteristics, and to indicate which organizations they had a, collaboration, a collaborative relationship with, and if North Sound ACH aided each collaboration. There were also open-ended questions to allow for additional qualitative data. We had a high response rate with 100% of implementation partners and 71% of community partners responding. This gives us confidence that the responses were representative of the whole network. Our find findings from the survey indicate that the North Sound network is very well connected. Almost one third of all possible connections in the network had been made with organizations connecting with about one third of all organizations on average. The high levels of formal integrated collaboration indicated that connections are more likely to be sustainable. All organizations in the network participated in some form of referral sharing, and nearly all participated in some form of data sharing. North Sound ACH was also widely recognized as a support for collaboration in the network, with 91% of organizations in the network reporting that the ACH had aided their collaborations. Looking at the density of connections in the network doesn't tell the entire story. We also need to know if connections are sustainable and strategic. Connection for the sake of connection has much less impact than connection to achieve particular goals. It is also important to analyze where connections are not as dense and to evaluate that data through an equity lens. Another finding from the survey was that the network did not have any identifiable silos. One goal of the ACH is to break down silos that inhibit collaboration. The lack of silos was a surprising finding given that organizations come from a broad range of sectors across five counties and eight tribal nations. This finding reinforces that the North Sound Regional Network is well connected. We were happy to see that most collaboration occurs across sectors. Nearly two thirds of connections were cross sector with just over one third of connections within sector. Public and social sector organizations had more cross sector connections than within sector connections, while the health sector had connections evenly distributed between cross sector and within sector organizations. When looking at specific organizations, we found that there were 10 critical organizations that accounted for nearly half of all connections. These organizations are highlighted here. As you can see, eight of the 10 organizations were implementation partners with North Sound ACH. Five represent healthcare organizations, three public agencies, and two social sector organizations. Within counties, collaboration networks were denser than the full network, suggesting strong local partnerships. However, over half of the organizations surveyed reported that they work in multiple counties, suggesting that regional collaboration is not limited by county boundaries. We were excited to see the role that the ACH has played in aiding connections 
in our region. Nearly all organizations, 91%, reported that the ACH had aided their collaboration. This accounted for 21% of the total connections in the region, or 323 individual connections. These are very encouraging findings given the short time frame that the ACH has been actively working with partners in the region. Another exciting finding was that over one third of the ACH aided connections were between an implementation partner and a non-contracted community partner, suggesting that our support ripples beyond those with who we are contracted for Medicaid transformation project implementation. Another finding was that two thirds of the connections that were facilitated by the ACH were formal integrated collaborations such as those that included data sharing, referral sharing, or were considered integrated collaborations. This indicated that these connections were more sustainable. The survey concluded with a couple of open-ended questions. What makes your strongest partnerships successful and effective? And how can North Sound ACH support collaboration? Here we have some themes from the answers to those two questions. Organizations report that partnerships are strengthened when collaboration is valuable for their clients or patients, when direct regular communication is the norm, when partnership occurs in both formal and informal ways, when programs are co-created, when resources are shared, when trust and respect is allowed to develop over time, and when both organizations show a commitment to ongoing collaboration. North Sound ACH can support collaboration in the region by convening organizations and increasing communication, by providing training opportunities and information on best practices, and by facilitating more targeted convenings. Respondents also called out the importance of North Sound ACH continuing this work as connection and trust are developed over time. This is just a brief overview of some of the findings from the collaboration survey. To see the full collaboration survey report, please go to the North Sound ACH website. If you have any questions about these findings or this presentation, please reach out to us at team at northsoundach.org.